Well, here is another very interesting article with information we should definitely be paying attention to. And it's basically telling us that this solar peak that we were expecting mid-year, and this is where the solar maximum peaks and we get the most intense amount of activity, well, they're now reassessing this and saying that, in fact, they're actually now expecting this to be the quietest peak that they've seen in at least 100 years. Now, this article was published on space.com. Let's not forget that this is directly related to NASA. So this is information from the agency and we need to learn how to read between the lines and discern the information because basically they just give us the least amount of information that they can possibly get away with. We need to understand that there are astronomers out there, amateur astronomers that do rely on these lamestream agency websites for information and data, so they have to satisfy the curiosity of these sheeple. Unfortunately, even though they are interested in astronomy, they are still very asleep and very unaware of the truth behind what is happening in our cosmos. So it goes on to say that the sun's 2013 solar storm peak expected to hit century low and was published on the 4th of January 2013. The sun's peak of solar activity this year will likely be the quietest seen in at least 100 years, say NASA scientists who watch Earth's closest star daily. Sunspot numbers are low, researchers said, even as the sun reaches the peak of its 11-year activity cycle. Also, radio waves that are known to indicate high solar activity have been very subdued. It's likely to be the lowest solar maximum as measured by sunspot number in more than a century, wrote Joe Gurnham a project scientist for NASA's Sun Observing Mission, Stereo. The current sun weather cycle is known as Solar Cycle 24. Quiet as the sun may be, scientists still have a vested interest in watching it. A rogue flare could damage electrical grids or knock out communication satellites, as has happened many times before. Now, interestingly, the Carrington event, which happened in 1859, happened in a relatively quiet solar maximum. So yes, there is still a potential that we can receive a well-positioned x ray However, I think the biggest concern, and I don't actually really consider this a concern to tell you the truth, but basically what's happening is that our atmosphere is collapsing and we actually need more activity from the sun to pump it up. So now that we know we're not going to get that activity, it's very interesting to think about what this may mean for our atmosphere. Now, I am going to be talking to MR2 Tough 2 on the next show on Sirius Rising, which is on Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, US. So we'll be definitely looking into what this could mean for the future of our atmosphere if we continue to see it collapsing and now that we're not going to be actually experiencing heightened solar activity, what that actually means for us. Okay guys, well I'm not going to read the rest of the article, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. It's very relevant information and something we should be paying attention to. So I will link the article underneath and uh, as always, peace out.